Hi guys, it's me, Josephine, and a few of you asked me to show you around in the kids' room, and this is a little part of it. Our kids' room is changing constantly because I want to keep it interesting, but I also change where the toys are and what kind of toys my daughter has. Sometimes I put some toys in the closet and then they're gone for a while, and if I need some space because I have to do something and I want her to pay attention to something else and give some room and I'm taking some of those toys out and exchange them against other toys later on and this keeps her distracted and I also make sure that there's always something that fits to her and her needs right now like I saw in the last time always when we went to the playground we are leaving right now daily the house to go to the playground it's part of our rhythm now it's empty anyway and I really want her to get some vitamin D and to leave the house because we don't have a garden. So in the playground we see the swing and she always puts her baby, that's her baby, she puts this baby inside of the swing and then she pushes the swing. So I made her something like that for a home too and that's this here. She's got the baby inside and then she pushes and she does this for quite a long time and it makes her very happy. This is the Wald of Play stand. Many of you have probably heard about that. It's a huge investment and toy in the future, but it is worth it, definitely. If you have the space, it's worth it. This is actually the one of my sister. It was made for her and they gave it us. And now it's over here in the US from Germany and I am really, really happy about that. I really love that and Amelia loves it. And it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. So I'm going to show you a little more around. So on my right, we've got here the box. Here is a big, big box. I would lift it, but it's it's just too heavy. So then we've got here the flowers, dried flowers. And I have usually the heavy toys on the lower spot, because if she pulls them down, she doesn't get hurt and she doesn't hurt us. <laughs> So down here there's a heavy bowl and there are the toys that I've showed already in, in a different video inside. Like this one, this is something I haven't showed so far I think, the coconut shell. There is a little bit of wool right now inside because there was an animal sleeping inside. But the other things, I showed them in a video and I will link this over there. And then we've got another basket. And in this basket, we've got some wooden bowls and different kinds of felted hats. Like this one is a flower for her little figures. And here we've got a basket full of wool animals. So many different wool animals. It's very cute. And here's a little fairy. This one's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> There are also the wool balls right now inside. Here we've got one of her instruments, the biggest one, the xylophone. Here we've got this jump rope in the Vailoff version made out of felt wool. You can jump or you can have it as a snake around your neck and play like this or it could be that you are a horse and the person behind you is riding so whatever you can imagine like all the world of toys they are open-ended and behind me here we've got we've got here the half circles of the company grims they go very well with our grims rainbow the rainbow is over here here we've got some rings in different colors and we've got this. This is something I really wanted to have for my daughter from the company Grips but then I found it in a thrift store from a different brand. I have no idea about that brand. It's called Leleni or Leleni. I can show you.
they have nothing than the CE stamp here inside. The CE stamp is a stamp you can give your business yourself. Nobody's actually proving it, it's just so you are proving it, that everything's good with your things, but I think everybody would say that everything is good with they sell, so <laughs> that's kind of, yeah, nothing you can really trust. These are boxes with boxes inside. The Grimm's portion is better because of many ways. It is not as fragile as this one. The colors are beautiful and healthy. This is lacquer. And the Grimm's portion you can use until forever and it will never be something where a kid can grow out. But something like this, it might be childish very, very early after a few years and then you don't really want to use it that way anymore. But maybe we will give it a color on top. I'm not sure yet, or we will sell it and maybe we will get one day the Grimm's version instead. Here we've got a kaleidoscope. That's the thing where you look through and everything looks weird and funny, interesting. Abala. We've got this one here. This is very beautiful because it's so natural and it's not full of colors like so many other toys. Too many colors can be quite yeah, um, you can't really concentrate anymore and it is not that pretty. Colors are beautiful, but there is also an end for everything, I think so. And um, this is very simple, there is just a little figure inside and I get this from my aunt, from my daughter, and it's, it's a really beautiful toy, I really love it. And then here we've got the Rio parts, they are also a part of what we get of my family. These were the new ones of my sisters, they both played with them and now we've got this whole basket full of them. And then we get here our beautiful Ostheimer animals, we love them so much, they are really really beautiful. Right now here's laying a teether of my daughter that's a root because she is getting her last four teeth really excited and then behind me there's baskets so the top shelves there is stuff what my daughter is not supposed to be able to reach she can reach over here but not the highest shelf and over there there some things of my sewing materials because i like to sew in this room too it's not just a kid's room because she doesn't like to play all by herself and be alone she wants to be with us so i'm doing in this room also things like taking my videos sewing crochet and many other things and then we've got also her books over there books but she's not supposed to read on her own like the Grimm's book of my grandmother mother me and now her it is in our family since so many years and i don't want her to rip out all the pages we've got also the english version here because i've got the german version of course <laughs> and then some of those barefoot books they have beautiful fairy tales from all over the world it's really amazing and she is able to reach all the kids books with other stories. I'm just gonna link up there some of them, our favorites. I took also a video about that. So she's able to reach her books, which she's supposed to reach, but not the fairy tales where I don't want her to reveal the pages. And over here, we've got some other instruments. And under them, there is right now the Jean Street I made. The tutorial is something you will find over there. I put there the link. Here we've got a basket full of different things. There are all those little Grimm's friends. Then there's there are also her mushrooms. Some, some other of those little dolls what I know name. Then some of those cloth pins. There and die for myself. The trees of the Brio toy, her birthday circle, my 
my massager from the pregnancy which has a face it's very cute <laughs> she's playing with it and one Hada figure that has no really color on it and we've got also the other costumes here like this one and of course the huge ones they also there inside here in this basket i have something that is really not bad up but it is also from my family so my grandmother she gave to me these beautiful made hand puppets <laughs> of the company Steif, I hope you can see it. They always have those buttons in their ear. And the thing about Steif is they really make beautiful work with very bad materials. I would never buy that. But they are from my grandmother. She's already dead. She bought them for me and I still have them. So my daughter will keep them and they really look like new. I was taking so well care of them. <laughs> and I even have two what are not of that brand. This one's Hansel and Gretel. That's how we really actually call them. It's not Hansel, it's Hensel with an A with dots. <laughs> and um, they are, I think they are from my mom, but they might be of her mother. I'm not quite sure, but they are they are very old and they are still in good shape and of course my playbus I got that one when I was around six years old and we traveled through Australia for a long long time and it will always remind me to that that was a beautiful time now it's always very important an empty basket. Kids love that. They just want to put things inside or they want to sit inside by themselves and I really don't get it but kids love it. So we've got an empty basket. <laughs> now we've got here this. This is one of those Waldorf things where you run around and it's flowing behind you. Um, the material is something I wouldn't buy, but I got it for free. Somebody wanted to throw it away and I took it. Um, yeah, I recycled it. And my daughter likes to play with it. Then we've got also this box. This was the packaging of her first birthday. And inside you find lots of different cars. They're almost just cars. So this one here, very cool, very simple. Then we've got some of the beautiful brand plant toys. They use soy colors. I have no idea how they do it, but it's very cool. And wooden toys, and they even have wooden toys for the bathtub, even though they sing. But the idea is very cool and I really love that because it's very heavy. And here is Bayo, that's also an eco brand. And then we've got a bunch of the Brio cars and the train and everything. And of course they are from my oldest little sister. Then my littlest sister had them and now my daughter has it. And those train stops also of the brand Brio. It also came with all the other Brio things. And then we've got here a box where my daughter has some hair things inside. She doesn't have her brush inside right now because she took it in the bathroom. Because she likes to brush her hair when I brush my hair and then she's standing there and copying me and it's very cute. She has here her tissue inside because she sees me always using the fabric tissue so she wants to do that too and to copy and sometimes she just plays that she's brush brushing her hair and then she cleans her nose and 
then she pretends that she puts some some of her hair ties instead of her hair but her hair is still a little short but I found them they're very cute they're all made out of felt wool this bean is so cute and I think here yeah, there's all they are really very cute anyway um there's also this this was a toy of her when she was a baby and I used to carry it around my wrist when I had to change her diaper because I could give this easily to her so she could play with it while I'm changing her. This is also from the company Grimm's. I really like this company, I know. And um, now it is more like that she pretends that these are grapes or she uses it as like, like this and then she grabs this necklace what I made for breastfeeding also to keep her a little distracted. And then she just walks around like that. <laughs> it's just jewelry for her. Or oh, we've got here. This reminds me kind of to a witch because it's this huge crystal. <laughs> but yeah, she used this also as a necklace. And she also got those beautiful crowns here, these two. Sometimes she puts them as a crown, sometimes a, as a hairband. It's very cute. And they are made of, out of wool. They handmade. And of course they grow with the gel because you can change the size. Then we've got here also this. This is not eco bed. I bought that in the pregnancy and I thought it's just very cute. This was before I thought about everything the way I think about it now. And I bought that at TK Maxx, because in Germany it's not TJ Maxx, it's TK Maxx with a K. And um, it's, it's the same company, it's just different with the name, I don't know why. Anyway, this is of the brand Giggle, and that's her hippo. That's like all these other trackers. It's just, I bought that when I was pregnant, I thought it's cute. So now you've seen a part of our kids room and I would love to show you more of our kids room but it changes really constantly and I will probably take a few more videos and I hope that this was a help for you to see how we manage that and that I am changing everything that I think that's something that is very good to know because otherwise it's, it's just too hard you would have to buy constantly new things but I also highly recommend to not just buy new things and look a little bit in those groups there are many groups where they give things away for free in germany we call them sharing groups and in the us they usually call things like don't buy groups i just found them recently so i'm really happy about that and there you can put things inside and give them away for free you can also take things you can search for things people are really really helpful and very nice and it is just something very beautiful and against all this you have to buy and you need to get and yeah i really love that and i also highly recommend instead of buying 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 so many books go to all those free libraries there's so many little free libraries here around us in portland and i am sure in every place of the world they usually have that now i remember in germany we had them usually in those big old cell phone places and in many other things and here they have like little little bird houses it's very cute and they made that very pretty and i think that this is nothing that comes from the city here i think that's more something the people who bought a house they put that in in the front of their house so everybody can use it it uses using it yeah and that's something very very awesome i love that and i highly highly recommend to look in those in those bookshelves you can go and bring the books you don't want anymore you can take some read them bring them back keep your favorites and read them over and over because you know kids love to do something over and over and over and over and even if you are already very annoyed kids love it <laughs> but if you don't really love a book then you should not keep it you should Keep only what you love and give away what you don't like. So you are free because if there's too much stuff in your space, then 
it makes it makes us people sick yeah so I really highly recommend not to have too much and have only what you really love and what you really want to use and use so that's it with my video I hope that this video was a help for you and don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and I see you in my next video have a beautiful time stay healthy bye